Hey, what's up guys, Jonathan Coates here, and in today's free automation training, I'm gonna be talking about the different alternatives to Jarvi and Mass Planner, which are automation softwares that used to be publicly available, but got discontinued due to like cease and desist orders from different social media platforms. But nonetheless, they're all alternatives. And about 12 months ago, I made a video on why I readjusted my Jarvi slash Mass Planner strategy. And it's so crazy because about, I believe two and a half weeks after I published that video, Jarvi was discontinued, which was basically just another version of Mass Planner, which was discontinued back in 2018, 2019. Now I've been using automation tools since about 2000, April to about August, 2017. And what I've noticed is they all have about the same features. When it comes to the one I'm gonna be showing you in this video, it's the same exact platform from Mass Planner to Jarvi to the new one, which is called Sue Social. But I wanna tell you that if you do want access to those previous softwares, all you really gotta do is just contact the owners of the software and you can get access to that from MP Social, and I have all these different tools and resources in the description below. But MP Social is the form that the owners of Mass Planner made originally when that version came out, and it's basically a community where people can go to talk about different strategies and techniques when it comes to automation tools and how to adjust and readjust your strategy what settings to configure in the software when the algorithms make changes and whatnot. So it's sort of like Reddit, except it's just for automation tools. So I'm gonna be sharing all that stuff in this video. I wanna get started first, but just the simple fact that there's a level of authenticity that I believe that you need to carry. There's an art to doing this, there's a strategy. So there's a human touch, a level of authenticity that goes into the art of using automation tools so that the algorithm and the people on the other side of the campaign feel that at least you're doing it manually Annually. They want to at least feel that way. Obviously, people are not going to know whether you're using these softwares or not, but you just want to put the proper settings in and just use this in a way where it feels as organic as possible. And you can do that by using the tools and resources that I'm going to be showing you in this video, as well as in the description below. So I actually just created a bonus for my course, the Home Business Blueprint. And in bonus number one, Home Medic, the first lesson is automation. So there's certain tools and resources that I have actually in the resources on the right hand side here that i want to share with you in this video so the first one i want to share with you just like mp social is black hat world now this is just an automation query so if you click on it it takes you to the search results for automation tools in this form which is called black hat world which is an extremely valuable form that i've been using since 2017 just to get the latest and greatest information when it comes to different strategies with search engine optimization and also as well as other different tools that internet marketers are using sort of on the black hat side or in the middle whether it be white hat or on the gray hat side there's usually a lot of different know-how in this form and so i'm just going to leave this automation query in the tools and the resources below so that you're able to have access to what's going on in this specific form and i'm also going to have mp social as well so i'm going to leave this one in the description so if you just click on the one where it says mp social then it's going to take you to this form which is what i was basically telling you just the owners of mass planner jarvi as well as sue social they basically created this reddit style form back in like 2016 i believe 2015 probably a lot earlier than that i'm only saying that because that's just when I got started with it. And I use it almost exclusively when it comes to traffic generation methods and sending leads into my sales funnel. I hardly even pay for advertising around those times. And mainly when I say advertising, I mean Facebook ads as well as solo ads and whatnot. I mainly just use automation tools. And this was just an invaluable form when it comes to just getting information on the latest settings on adjustments to make with Facebook marketing, how to unblock your account. One of the biggest issues that I was having was just the action blocks that I was getting from using automation tools repetitively mainly the embedded browser the algorithms know when you're using that and when you use it in action over and over again they'll give you these time blocks different restrictions on certain actions that you can make whether it be commenting or sending friend requests or liking or viewing people's stories these are all different things that can be automated using these tools so the first one i want to share with you is sue social now this is the latest one is the best alternative for jarvi right now as you can see it looks exactly like mass planner and jarvi it actually looks more like mass planner but as you can see you can put your social media accounts in here whether it be twitter pinterest tumblr or YouTube or Instagram, TikTok, you put them all in here and then you click on tools and then you have a variety of different things that you can do. You can auto spin different texts so that you can have a reply back. Whenever someone messages you, you can have different comments being commented on a random selection of different people that's in your follower list. And you can also insert different keywords and set it up so that the software only follows or engages with people 
who share hashtags that are similar to that keyword. So it's a really useful tool and it helps you to filter through and really specify and target your audience when it comes to your social media accounts. And then one thing that I used to use it for, I used to load up different blog posts from my website, which is just loaded up with value. And also ultimately it sends people to my sales funnel because I have a lead generation magnets on all of my different websites that I was using. So when I had a health and fitness website, I would use Quora and I would have different accounts just answering different questions on automation, just using a certain format. And then it would lead people back to my website, which would have more information on the blog post. And then below the blog post, it was always an opt-in incentive that was similar to what they were already looking for. This was all being completely automated by the software. But the issue is I had a lot of anxiety due to this. And I just wanted to follow up on the video I made last year because I just wanted to share these different alternatives with you. But I do plan on using these tools a lot more soon, but it's not gonna be with my main accounts just because I use Meta services a lot and I feel like they're all integrated. So if I do one thing wrong on Facebook, then it's gonna affect other services like Meta Quest, which I'm a huge fan of and I use almost every single day i don't want them to break my headset so i use alternative accounts but one of the biggest issues i had with the anxiety was just different blocks and action blocks and whatnot and and having to constantly log back in because i'll get logged out from my accounts and and not only that you will get logged out not only just on one device but all of your different devices just because you got an action block on what the software was using so that was one of the biggest issues i had and why i made the transition from using automation tools exclusively from 2017 to about 2020. And I started advertising mainly on Facebook and I'm working through Google AdWords and YouTube as well as Microsoft advertising. I had some issues with them a while back in the past preventing me from even running ads with them. So I am considering strongly getting right back into the automation game as well as just continue to keep advertising like I'm doing right now with Facebook ads and solo ads. But I just want to bring this to your attention because Sue Social is the exact same software as Jarvi and Mass Planner. So if you want access to this, the pricing is just a little bit different from Mass Planner and Jarvi. If you're familiar with those, it's everything that you ever need Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, LinkedIn. You can plug all that different stuff in there. And I recommend getting different proxies so that you're not using the software all from one IP address because they'll end up banning your IP address. It's a really frustrating experience to go through. So I do recommend something called Shadow PC or it can be any type of remote virtual desktop that's from a different IP address. And also it clogs up your computer. It runs so much, takes up a lot of RAM. So you want to have it on a virtual or remote desktop anyway, for that reason, not only to have it running from a different IP address, but also because you don't want it to slow down your main computer. So I recommend that And the best place to get different proxies so that you're running these different social media accounts from different IP address is a place called social proxy. And I'll have this in the description as well. The person who owns this website is basically affiliate with Dr. Jarvi, if you don't know who's like an authority figure in the space of automation tools, and she's really, really helpful. I've been following her for a long time, and I'll try to have her information in the description as well. But the social proxy is a place, as you can see, just have different IP addresses rotating. There's something called like rotating proxies, and you have your accounts coming from different IP addresses so, so you don't get your specific IP address banned, and that really helps. So you want to do that as well as use services like 2Captcha and death by capture this lets you know if you had a capture triggered on your account from the algorithms and you want to monitor this and it's really dirt cheap all you gotta do is just pay like two or three to five dollars and you get thousands and thousands of captures but the whole point is just to monitor it so you don't get any captures because if you do get captures if you get too many it's an indication that your account's going to get restricted or time blocked so this was a great way of helping me to monitor just how many captures i was getting before i was like okay this thing is giving me too many captures. Let me go ahead and scale back the settings a little bit on this specific social media account. And that's what I would do until the captures was kind of like died down a little bit. And then once it died down, then I would kind of like sort of tinker the settings back up a little bit. When I, when I mean settings, I mean stuff like the liking, the viewing the stories, the commenting, sending friend requests, following, sending people happy birthdays, stuff like that. Just regular stuff that you do organically that you want automated. You just want to kind of just scale back the settings on the timers, like as far as how often you do it throughout the day. So this is helpful as far as like monitoring the captures that lead to action blocks. Now, one of them, I forget which one doesn't work with Facebook as much as anymore. So I'm going to leave both of these in the description, but I just want to bring these to your attention. Sue Social, as well as sharing tools, which I don't personally have much experience with, but I will be testing out in the next six to 12 months. So I'm definitely going to be making videos about, but Dr. Jarvi recommends it as far as like another way of managing your Instagram and TikToks accounts. And you can get 15 days free. And I'll have this in the description as well, but I do recommend 
and Sue Social as well as MP Social as far as getting the latest information when using automation tools. All right. So yeah, I just want to make this follow up video to my last video as far as why I readjusted my strategy when it comes to using automation tools such as Jarvi and Mass Planner. Because like I said, I published about two and a half to three weeks right before they discontinued Jarvi. So I wanted to make this follow up video as far as like the different alternatives and then what my game plan is moving forward. All right. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoy it. If you like content like this, then I highly recommend that you check out my website, jonathancoast.com. I'll talk about everything when it comes to generating traffic and increasing sales. And be sure to subscribe. Take a look at the tools and the resources below this video, as well as the pinned comment by the Affiliate Marketing Samurai. I have everything that I included, as well as all the different resources and websites. And with that said, I will see you in the next video. See you then.